early breakfast. everyone welcome back to the channel half past six Saturday morning bank holiday weekend and we're off to Wales again this time we're going to buy a new engine one's come up on the internet for the right money so we've had to buy it because we've been mad not to so fingers crossed it's all what the guy says it's gonna be and a couple of hours time we'll be coming back the other way with a brand new engine just one thing Phil's told me to apologize to Dave at CR Auto Engineering sorry Dave the engine will be coming to you, just just not yet. Or well, we'll be bringing two to you when I blow this other one up. But we'll see how it goes, eh? It's an horse. <laughs> absolute bargain over the moon he has got another one for sale if anybody's interested drop us a comment in the comments box and um, we could always put him in touch with him Jonathan nice fella he's got a few other parts as well so um, yeah if you're interested in that two and a half thousand the engines up for but uh, to be fair the price is negotiable so if anybody's interested just just drop us a comment right first things first we're gonna start sorting this wiring out which is a mess, as we said before. So we're gonna pull it out the side of the buggy now, drape it down here, and then the process of elimination, working out what's from the ZX9 and what needs to stay in the buggy to connect up to the new engine. Looking at it, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, it's not bolted on anyway, it's just sat on there. We're gonna lift the cage off, put it behind the buggy, pull this forward a bit, and then the light that's above will shine down in there to make it a bit easy for people who are watching to see what we're doing.
Right, I've got all the wiring out now, this side of the buggy, so it's time to start going through what's going where. It's like spaghetti junction of the cable world. So this here is a right mess. Looks to me like this was original and they've obviously cut into it and then repaired it with zip ties where they've patched in the motorbike loom. So we're going to open this up and see what we can find in there. Sorted the loom out, this is what we're left with. A bit of bling. I ain't got no bling! <laughs> <laughs> so this ain't, this ain't no good. None of this is from the buggy, it's all from that Ninja engine from what we can see. So now we've just got to try sorting out what we need to wire in to the engine. Now that we've sorted that, we don't need this. That's basically good for nothing. So that's the end of that. Right, that's all the wiring out. So just a little close inspection around here. If you want to bring the camera around, Phil. This bracket here is clearly not original and uh, it's not going to hold up too much is it when it's moving like that this is bent someone's bodged that in there so we need a new bracket just took another another part to add to the long list that seems to be building up these nerve bars are, are no good anyway they're, they're extremely bent so because i'm a fussy side i've got to have new ones because i can't have that so i'm going to buy some new ones of these and then we're going to see if we can get a bracket for this or custom build one to fit the new nerve bars when we get them Right, so we're just going to get this bracket off now. The bracket for the lovely gear shifter. He loves these washers, they're everywhere. I'm just going to strip this other quarter of plastic off just so it exposes where the bracket for this nerve bar is connected because we're going to be removing this one as well anyway. Plus with this off it just gives us a bit more access to work around here. It is Phil, it's very dirty. Right, that's the nerve bars off. So what we're left with now is just the spot weld that was on here, which was the same as this that went down to the old engine where it was mounted, which is obviously no good. So we're going to remove that now, grind it off, and then finish these back nice and flat so it's like that cross member there.
mate. Parcel. Oh, you got a parcel? Yeah. Where are you? Mr. Nation. Right, let's clean this dump up, get that engine in here, Phil. Stop messing about. this episode to a close absolutely chuffed with that engine we've had a good boy there as long as it runs now it'll be fine it's brand new so watch us on the next episode we're going to start retrofitting that got to order some parts yet as well so it's going to get interesting from now on I feel like a bit of a kid at the minute to be honest i just want to drive it we're way away from there yet so just keep watching don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you on the next episode